birthday. Go, shawty. Happy birthday. I'm totally having deja vu. I have already lived through this day. Happy Dead Day is like a horror version of Groundhog Day and Age of Tomorrow. Why did you think uh, it was a good idea for a horror film? It's the perfect idea because in, in traditional horror movies you have multiple victims, you know, like lots of just random people being killed. And in, in this movie, because of, of the, the time loop, it's the same person dying over and over and over again. Um, and so I think that's really fun and, and unique to this movie. In your case, you're co as a producer, why do, did you embrace this idea? I embraced the idea because I'd never, never, it never even occurred to me. I'd never thought of it, so it seemed just super original. And we're very attracted as a company to I ideas that feel new and fresh and different. How difficult was to try to to make different versions of the same scenes and make it work? It was hard. It was hard to kind of change the same scenes, but it was also fun because, you know, based on how tree was reacting to something it had a, a butterfly effect it caused a chain reaction around her um, and so it was a lot of fun to like write the stuff and figure out okay well if she's if she's angry on this day how is that going to affect the people around her but then if she's happy and she wakes up and is it feels happy to be alive how does that affect all these characters that are around her since the beginning was planned that the movie has element of comedy or it was something that um, you realize with meanwhile you are working in the progress we there was always comedy I always wanted the, the movie to have a sense of humor and to not and I think what I wanted I, I feel like the movie stands on its own and is different from a lot of stuff because it's not too serious it's still scary and it and it aims to be scary but it also aims to be funny um, and that was always important to me how how big was the challenge to create new deaths for the Jessica's character? Hmm. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> <laughs> I like to do that. It's fun for me. Um, I had I, I had a I had a list, a long list of different kinds of deaths. But um, I think the challenge here was to was and and it worked for the movie um, was to not go not to get gory, and and because this 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 movie didn't need it. You know, and I, I love the idea that like you, you, she has all these different kinds of deaths, but you actually never, if you go back and watch the movie, you don't actually ever completely see her die. It's always the <laughs> millisecond before. Um, and so that was, that was kind of the challenge and the fun of this movie. You as a director, you as a producer, what, what is you, your expectation about the reception of the audience and the critics also? You well, first. expectation is hard to say, but we hope it is a big commercial and critical success. I think what you what we want as a producer, as a director, as a filmmaker is to have both critical and commercial, and we hope Happy Death Day succeeds at both. In your case, do you feel nervous? I'm always nervous. <laughs> always, everyone's nervous. Yeah, always nervous. I, you never know what could happen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the, but you know what? The most important thing is that you know we're we're really proud of the movie. Um, we know that we, we've made something special and we yeah. made something fun. That's very true. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's, now it's up to everybody else to, to see it. But I think, when, I think if people see the movie, they're going to like it. Me too, I agree. Why are you doing this to me? This has got to be the strangest birthday you've ever had, huh? You have no idea.